Hello there, my Capricorn Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. What is the vibe with you, Capricorn? My oh my. Will of Fortune energy. Oh, and the hangman energy. Look at that, Capricorn. I feel like you've been in that sort of suspended, uh, almost animation type vibe with you, uh, Capricorn. Things have kind of slowed down and moved faster at the same time with you. You're very focused. But damn, Capricorn. This is like solo you, right? There's almost a contortionist vibe with this. So, damn. But you're very comfortable in this. So, sweet Jesus Capricorn. I love this vibe with you. This actually works for you. So, you're making very conscientious choices uh, with what you do and how you're doing it. Uh, it's very interesting. It's definitely solo-focused. So, those of you... Uh, creating your own, doing your own, being on your own. Uh, you're making some choices and some good ones at that. I like this vibe with you, Capricorn. Crown on that, you got the King of Swords. Yeah, whatever this energy is, you're the one that's sort of focused on it. So I don't think you're really allowing a lot of external vibes to kind of come in and... Uh, change what the fuck you're doing or focus on what the fuck you're doing uh capricorn i don't feel like you really need opinions on what you're doing uh you're just doing you that really creates a stir around you though capricorn so there's a lot of uh codependency on you but you're not so codependent on others so that's the interesting vibe here right king of cups Ooh. So you made some choices when it came to relationships or partnerships. Your accessibility when it comes to relationships or partnerships, Capricorn. So those of you that are choosing to stay single, those of you that are off the dating sites, those of you that are off your social medias, those of you that are really focusing on you. It's a will of fortune energy. There's a lot of sort of karmic vibes around this. So you're being very mindful here. I love this energy with you, Capricorn. Not a lot of excitement. I don't feel you have a lot of excitement because that's not what you're about. Then you got the Knight of Cups. Yeah, you know you have offers and opportunities. I don't feel like that's an issue with you, Capricorn. You're turning down offers. You're turning down opportunities. You're choosing not to date. You're choosing to sort of focus more on you. And that creates a, a bit of an interesting uh, dynamic with you. Seven of Pentacles. Those of you that work with your hands. My creatives out there. Right? You feel better because you're not... A lot of you Capricorns, you're not feeding into that sort of emotional energy, which takes uh, a lot of time and effort on your part. Especially those of you in relationships or partnerships that you probably weren't all that invested in anyway. Right? So, Cappy's doing their shadow work. And that's a good vibe for you. It actually works for you. You're seeing the benefits of not having sloppy relationships or partnerships and focusing more on you. So, damn. Over top of all that, yeah, the Nine of Swords. You're being very, very interesting here, uh, Capricorn. Those of you that got out of relationships partnerships, work, love, life vibes here at Capricorn, right? You've been in that sort of contortioned energy for so long that your adaptability is, is far better than others around you. So you've been used to sort of working in certain sort of parameters, right? So this sort of switch up for you has actually been rather easy. There's an adaptability with you. There's a flexibility with you. And it really changed it up. You're going to find that everything sort of puts you in the right energy and in the right vibration to, uh, to move forward. But at the same token, 
this is sort of the energies around you. So those of you Capricorns that you have gotten out of relationships or partnerships, work, love, life, right? You learned so much that now you're kind of able to do your own thing. It is like a contortionist vibe. It is like you're comfortable in that energy. So damn, you learned from the heartbreak. You learned from the opportunities either that you were given or that you missed, right? So it made you adaptable. But at the same token, a lot of you, the people, places, situations you were dealing with really haven't changed much. So that's the, that's the switch up with you. Your adaptability, your sort of flexibility, whatever you were sort of going through, it actually worked to your benefit. Because you are more flexible. You are more adaptable. You're, it's like you're accustomed to that. A lot of this energy is very sort of custom for you, which makes it all the more interesting as you move forward. But you do have a lot of stuck, stagnant energy around you. You definitely are not at a loss for options or opportunity. Work, love, life. But what are the better choices? For most of you Capricorns, it's the energies that you moved away from that sort of are missing out on this opportunity that you have. Because my, oh my Capricorn. My, oh my Capricorn. Mm. Bottom of the deck, you got the Four of Wands. With the Seven of Swords. That's almost like Pool Shark energy. So, Capricorn, I definitely think you're wiser uh, for the journey. You're moving ahead. You've got a different sort of perspective on things. I definitely feel like you were played and you were manipulated. You were given a lot of sort of false opportunities, false starts, and you were never able to sort of uh, move out of a certain energy. But, damn, you grew from that. So, damn Capricorns, right? And there's that Ace of Cups energy. Ooh. Those of you coming from rather interesting relationships or partnerships, you are definitely going to be smarter when choosing your next partner. Work, love, life vibes. Uh, I don't think you're going to allow yourself to be sort of manipulated and uh, used the way you were before. Because you've been there, done that. So it's almost like a sense memory with you. If a relationship or partnership seems to be a little bit too confining or restricting, yeah, you don't need a safe word because you're going to get the fuck out of that situation really quick. You're learning some self-respect here. You're learning a lot of you the right way to sort of love how relationships and partnerships should be. Work, love, life vibes here, Capricorn. Those of you that intermixed your work life with your personal life are probably not going to do that again. But damn, you do have an energy that isn't so happy that you chose you. Because I do feel like a lot of you were in relationships or partnerships that were just way too fucking much. Those of you that felt the need to sort of, sort of overcompensate the relationship or partnership. So, uh... What's the vibes on that? What's the vibes on that? Too romantic. Too sort of romanticized. Too sort of overly focused. More on the sort of grandeur and the uh, uh, emotive things that come with love. Like, oh, you get flowers every week, right? But at the same token, look at the way them cups are sort of placed. It was a lot of show, but there wasn't a lot of sort of emotional capacity to it. So it was it was a good show. It looked good, right? Someone don't like the fact that you're not sort of playing that uh, emotional game anymore. I feel like you're buying your own fucking self flowers, right? You're focusing more on you. There, you're getting out of that sort of fakeness energy. 
a lot of you realizing that your romantic life does not have to be that fucking over romanticized. It really shouldn't, because then it gets to the point of just being more for show than what it is actually building a relationship or partnership, right? Damn. King of Wands, Judgment, there in the Eight of Pentacles. How much time, energy, or effort are you going to put forth in relationships or partnerships? Those of you that spent way too much time choosing between relationships or partnerships and what you do for work. Those of you that intertwined your work relationship and partnerships with your sort of romantic vibes. I don't think you're going to pull that shit anymore. Right? You are smarter. So whatever you went through, Capricorn, it sort of made you smarter, made you more agile. It made you more adaptable. You learned, you grew from it, you didn't realize it, but a lot of this is going to be that sort of sense memory. So, relationships or partnerships. The over-romantization is really the thing, where it gets to the point where it's just, it's sort of expected. You know what I mean? Mm. My, oh, my cappies. Spilling the tea on that, and there's the sun card. Damn. Uh, sunflower vibes following the sun sunflower heads follow the sun right so that's really what you're focused on right now you're definitely attracting a lot of attention the energy around you is definitely you're attracting attention but you're also sort of focusing on that positive vibe as well i don't think you're going to stay stuck or stagnant in anything that starts to feel fake Moving forward, looking at your relationships or partnerships, I definitely feel like you're going to have healthier boundaries between your work life and your personal life, love life. Um, there's a positivity to this, too. I mean, if you're dating Capricorn, you're dating. You're probably very casually dating. You're probably not focused on anything getting real too serious anytime soon. So that's going to be a major turnoff for you right? You're dating. You're just dating. Some of you are going to date just to date, just to learn how to date, to relearn how to date, uh, to not over romanticize relationships or partnerships. Definitely keep a healthy sort of disconnect between what you do for work and your personal life. You had to go through a lot to get in this energy. Uh, Capricorns, those of you, if you're a little hesitant to date, uh, you'll kind of, it's almost like a sense memory with you. If a relationship or partnership starts to seem too restricting or confining for you in a way that uh, doesn't work for you, I don't think you're going to stay in that relationship or partnership long. I think you're more well aware of what is a positive relationship just by the sort of sense memory you got from the last some of you, the over-romanticizing. There's not much spontaneity, right? It's like you notice all the focus there is on these oversized flowers, but look at how the cups are stacked. So it's kind of like, oh, look, here's flowers to show you I love you, but there's not really any sort of stability in how that goes. It's a lot of show energy. So Capricorns, those of you that just dated and were in relationships or partnerships, maybe because that was what was expected of you, are going to find that that's really not what you're focused on anymore. It all comes down to this. You were so like restricted and sort of stuck or stagnant that you had to really look at something. There's a sense of memory to this too, right? Anyone that that's sort of flexible... Uh, it's a memory uh, thing. It's stretching. It's your body getting used to it. So you're going to know when something feels like it's just too fucking much. Because you've been there, done that. And those of you are not interested in going back. I definitely feel like you're going to have more of a separation with your working relationships and partnerships and your personal life. Some of you are going to carry this energy over into all areas of your life, right? 
There is way too much manipulation that was required of you, uh, Capricorn. So that's what made the difference. I was getting ready to say Scorpio. So some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio, right? But the thing is, you were able to uh, get out of that. You were able to find the sort of comfort level in that. But the relationships and partnerships that you got out of that required that of you are missing the fact that you're not in that sort of vibe. There's like a skill and a talent to this Capricorn. So some of you have definitely, you've, you've done your time. You know how to be adaptable and flexible. But now it's going to be to your betterment, right? Yeah, there is a lot of respect energy on you. Because you have definitely overcome a lot. You've had to overcome a lot here, Capricorn. But my oh my. My oh my, Cappies. You're better for the opportunity. I feel like you're better for the opportunity, but there's a lot of sort of bitter energies around you. Because, hot damn... Hot damn. This is uh, one of Joan Rivers' more famous quotes. She had to get through what she had to get. She had to go through what she had to go through to get through what she had to get through. It's kind of like that. You've been there, done that. But damn, that's sort of muscle memory with you. Any other relationships or partnerships you get into, when you start feeling this vibe coming in, yeah. Yeah. You're going to definitely get out of that energy really fast. So, you know, you had to learn. But that sort of muscle memory will take over. Especially those of you in over-romanticized relationships or partnerships. Because of that Six of Cups vibe there, right? Oh, you have the flowers. Everything looks all perfect. But look at how that shit is stacked. Right? It's like, oh, look. Look. It's like someone calls and tells you to bring them flowers instead of you wanting to buy flowers. This is like photo opportunity relationships or partnerships. It was a, it was all a show. A lot of manipulation. Damn. Oh, I love this energy for you, uh, Capricorn. Focus on you. Stay in this vibe. Cappies, if you want to be in a relationship, you'd be in a relationship. If you're not in a relationship, that's not your focus. Some of you are avoiding those overly romanticized relationships or partnerships. So if something gives you cause for pause, right? Pay attention to it. Some of you, how much of this sort of, how much are you sort of having to change yourself? How flexible are you expected to be? While someone else, maybe not so much, right? Someone don't want you to be able to do your own thing and sort of make your own choices and kind of shine. Damn cappies. Don't worry or stress too much, Capricorns. If you want to date, you'll date. If you're not, you don't, right? That's not really all that big a fucking deal. If you're single, you're single. Uh, you will remember this energy. So moving forward in newer relationships or partnerships, work love life vibes on this, you're going to know when you have to do way too much and someone else isn't putting forth any time, energy, or effort. You're going to know and you're going to understand that. And you're definitely going to have healthier boundaries moving forward. Mm. There's respect for you here, but hot damn. It's really not for a good reason. Because that's like your energy and this is like the other sort of vibes around you. Right? The ties that bind here. Here you are in this sort of flexibility. Uh, right? Beautiful acrobatic vibes here. Right? Mm. 
you're wiser for the opportunity. You're stronger. You're better. You're like in the better vibe. Someone else could definitely be very sort of bitter uh, in this energy. Dealing with you, Cappies. Oh, absolutely beautiful and brilliant. Home. Come back home to yourself. Belonging, celebration, and stability. This feels like just coming back to yourself. That sort of comfortableness energy. Um, this is like a, if you study dance, right? When you go back to like first position. Uh, if you restart in a game, right? You go back to the home screen. This is you going back to what is comfortable with you. What is comfortable for you. Focusing more on you. But my oh my. There was way too much. There's way too much there. But it actually was to your betterment. I love this deck. I love the, the energy on this deck. It's absolutely beautiful, right? So, take what's yours, Capricorn. Leave what the fuck isn't. This is a... Uh, you're happy. You're learning to be happy. A lot of you, that sort of muscle memory... Is definitely going to be important to you when it comes to relationships or partnerships. Some of you that over romanticizing the fuck out of relationships or partnerships. That really, there wasn't much sort of stability there to begin with. It was just a bunch of show. Oh, look, they brought me flowers. And it's like, yeah, well, you told me to fucking buy you flowers. So it, that's, you know what I mean? So, damn. Damn, Cappies. Work-love-life balance, too, Capricorn. I don't think you guys are going to sort of intertwine those two as well, either. Damn, Cappies. Sunflowers follow the sun. So stay happy, stay optimistic here, uh, Capricorn. Damn, Cappies. Be better, not bitter. Woo. There's that will of fortune energy. Trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. Because that's for you, Cappies. That does feel like a single journey. So, you know, stay focused on you. Anything else for Capricorn? Take what's yours and leave what's not, Capricorn. Work life, love vibes on that, Capricorn. Some of you are kind of switching everything the fuck up. Better opportunities, a lot of you with that sort of muscle memory. So, stay flexible, right? Pre-post-workout stretching. Eight of Pentacles with the Will of Fortune. You don't need a lot of fanfare. If you need a lot of fanfare with what you got going on, those of you with your relationships or partnerships, all that sort of fanfare energy, that's not right. I think you're realizing that. Relationships and partnerships are definitely looking very different for you. A lot of you are going to go off and do your own thing. You learn a lot, you've grown a lot, you're very flexible, you're very adaptable, so that makes the difference. So moving forward for you is going to be undeniably easier than a lot of the sort of energies around you or opportunities that sort of kept you stuck. So be ever the optimist here, Capricorn. Because this is your energy. And it's absolutely fucking brilliant. That is that vibe with that six of cups. 
the oversized flowers, but look at how the cups are. Over romanticizing relationships or partnerships. Work, love, life. Take what's yours, leave what's not, Capricorn. Like, share, subscribe. Ring the bell if you were ever so inspired to, Capricorn. Stay focused in this energy because I like it for you. A lot of respect. You went through what you went through, but damn. Good luck. God bless.